Good morning. I'm Xavier Holacek, and today is Tuesday, May 3rd, and this is The Roar. Congratulations to the state forensicators who rolled their way to second place at state over the weekend. Sophomore Jerry Wong and junior Gabby Smith took first in their events. Junior Nate Martin placed second. Junior Mackenzie O'Donnell placed third, along with sophomores Hannah Kirby and Preston Thomas. Other state medalists include senior Kara Fort and Zach Atkins, juniors Abby Veneziano and Allison Wagner, and sophomore Jake Marino. The Drama Club is hosting a night of Broadway Saturday at 7 in the auditorium. Tickets are $5 and go towards supporting the drama programs here at LHS. Congratulations to sophomore Bruna Darley, who has been nominated for a Blue Star Award from the Starlight Theater for outstanding performance in a featured role for her part in the musical You're in Town. Darley was cast in another role, but was asked to take part of Little Becky Two Shoes the night before the performance. Check out the article about her performance and nomination on MainlineOnline.com. The AP Government and AP U.S. History summer assignments are now online. If you planned on taking AP Government or AP U.S. History next year, please stop by Ms. Legree's room before May 6th to get the classroom code if you did not attend the meeting last week. On Thursday this week, all students need to bring their school-issued iPad, charging cable, charging block, and school-issued case with them to school. iPads will be collected on the last day of finals, but this Thursday is the first part of that process. Your book distribution day is coming! We will have the books here for the signing day this year, and if you, are not, if you have not purchased one yet, you are almost out of time. There are 50 copies left, and they are first come first serve, so stop by the main office and get one today. Friday Spirit Day is Neon High Five Day, so wear your neon and high five people. Now it's time to check in with the lunch club to see what's on the lunch menu for today. Today for lunch we're having a salad meal to go, a chili crispito bar, and a soft shell taco. Mmm, that's tasty licious. I can't wait for lunch. <laughs> now on to world news. It's primary day again. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton look to extend their leads over their closest competitors in the Hoosier state as rep Republicans and Democrats in Indiana head to the polls. This next story isn't about trap music. But Trappist is the name scientists gave a dwarf star about 40 light years from Earth that has three Earth-like planets circling it. Maybe that's where trap music comes from. You never know. And news from around the nation, if we lived in Detroit, we wouldn't be here today. Most schools in Detroit are closed for the second day because teachers are protesting and calling in sick. 94 out of 97 public schools in the city are closed today. Teachers learned last week that they may not be paid after June 30th, and more than 1,500 teachers have called in sick as a result. In Major League Baseball, the Royals dropped to 13-12 and 12 on the season after a loss to the Nationals yesterday at home. They will attempt to stay above 500 today when Young takes the mound at 7:15. Have you heard of Papa Bob's Barbecue? Well, you're about to experience it. Here are some highlights from a recent marketing field trip with Mr. Myers. Hi, and welcome to Spotlights with Lexi. Last week, Mr. Myers took his marketing classes to Papa Bob's Barbecue, where two of his students took on the Ultimate Destroyer. Let's check it out. We venture to Papa Bob's Barbecue in Bonner Springs to look at the aspects of marketing at the barbecue place because they're nationally known for their eating challenge called the Ultimate Destroyer from Man vs. Food, where Adam took on the Ultimate Destroyer and failed. Uh, so we looked at the marketing aspects there and we had two students, Matt Parks and Tate Berry, who took on the challenge. 
Unfortunately, both of them made it to the wall of shame because neither one were able to finish the uh, excessive platter of meat and french fries within the 45 minutes. So that's what we did yesterday. Wow, I bet they're going to have to work all those calories off. Now let's go to LHS Sports and see what's going on. Come out tonight to support the Lady Lions swim team in their final home meet of the season. They take on DeSoto, Moore, Hill Prep, Mill Valley, St. James, and Washington at 4.30. Also, tonight, the Lady Lions soccer team travels to Gardner-Edgerton. JV plays at 4.30 and Varsity plays at 6. Good luck, Lady Lions. That's all we have for today. Don't forget, tomorrow is the late, last late start of this school year. We won't have a show since there is no CCR, so we'll see you back here Thursday.